hey guys and welcome back to my channel hope you guys are good hope you're well <clears throat> sorry we're still with the cold and stuff and i think um is it pms or m p cost p mock i don't know p mock pre what's that pre pre period um i know tmi pre period symptoms or whatever but yeah i've got like spots and stuff so we're not really happy about that but you know i promise you guys i would do an a christian popular a christian unpopular opinions video and yeah so let's get straight into it if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe like comment all the new subscribers we say hey we welcome you to the gang and stuff um yeah so let's just get this video started so my first one <laughs> i don't know i was thinking i don't know if i should just start boom or i should just like ease everybody in so my first one look like you lot can decide I don't like this king and queen nonsense. I hate, I hate it. I hate when people call me a queen. I, I despise it with everything. Don't call me a queen, don't do it. I hate when I see other people being called queen. Obviously, if you like it, that's your business. I hate being called, calling men kings. Eh! So, future husband, if you want to be called a king, bro, you better find an alternative. If you're going to talk about scripture, then just call me, like scripture says, royal priesthood. Just say that one. Don't call me a queen because we're not like that. Um, another one, another unpopular opinion is that it is possible to be in a very committed, loving relationship without having sex um i don't know why you know i don't know i see a lot of um <clears throat> things where it's like if you love me show me or um it's not really consecrated until we we are intimate or um it you know my man won't say if i don't sleep with him it's a lie it's a lie bro it's a lie so it's uh, there are very but well, that's not english there's a lot of relationships that are you know long lasting that end up in marriage and they have not slept with each other beforehand so you can be in a loving committed relationship and i have sex thank you bye sunday attendance does not make you a christian you know coming to church raising your hands you know singing the worship songs listening to the sermon that don't make you a Christian. That just makes you a bench warmer. It just makes you a church goer. It doesn't actually make you a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Another one is <laughs> my people of God. My people of God. Titles are just that. Titles. Shocking. Revelational. It's a word. Scripture. No titles are just titles i don't care if you a pastor if you an evangelist if you're you know you're you're all these names if your character the way you behave the way you talk isn't really in alignment with these so-called titles then your titles don't mean nothing because your titles won't get you to heaven your titles won't get you more you know applause from god you know it won't do any of that just saying another one is mm, you mm, let me say we so we don't all feel offended we actually need to please god on earth um saying that i'm saved or that i've been saved for 15 years or 20 years or, um, you know, I've been going to church, I've been working in the house of the Lord. Mm, if those things are not actually what God wants. Oh, sis, bro. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? You know, you want to, I think we all want to please God by doing what he's asked us to do. Not what man's asked us to do. And, you know, I, I, I would hate for any of us you know to get to the the last day and say all these things that they did in the name of god and god would just be like 
I don't know you because you never seeked me and asked me what it is I asked you to do on this earth. So as much as it is to, to live a Christian life, you have to make sure that one, it's accordance with God's will and that it actually pleases him. God, that is, you know, any sort of miscommunications. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, this one, this one is for me. And, you know, I, I know, imagine my own, something that's unpopular is for me, is um, ooh, true forgiveness is being able to actually forgive somebody who may actually never say sorry or who may actually not say sorry first or may not even ask for, you know, do you know what I mean? That's when true forgiveness actually is. It's not, oh, um, oh, I forgive him, but I'm never gonna forget it. You know, I'm gonna, no sister, no family. That's not what forgiveness is. It's when you're actually being able to love them and, and let go of whatever they did, despite them not even knowing you know, or even coming to you saying sorry. And the Bible also says, you know, God's gonna forgive us the way we forgive others. So, you know, if you've got a forgiveness issue, hmm, sis, bro, don't sleep on it because it's a serious one. It's a serious issue that we have to address. Um, yeah. Oh, this one, it's a good one. Gospel music isn't just music that has the word God in it. Oh, did I? Gospel music, gospel music is more than just saying the word God and saying whatever you like but just dropping God. It don't make it gospel, sis. It don't make it gospel, bro. The gospel, if we go back to what the gospel is, it's spreading the good news. It's spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. It's spreading the news that God loves us, that he sent his only begotten son to die for sinners like you and me, you know? That's what gospel is. So the gospel music has to be in line with, you know, one of those things, at least, you know? So if you're listening to whatever, and it just has, just because it has the word God, remember there are many gods as well. Oh, idolization. There are many gods as well. So you better check that is the right God that these songs are referring to. Just saying. Saying God sees my heart, makes you more accountable for your sins. Oh, Father, it's a word, hallelujah. <laughs> saying, God sees my heart, because we love to throw that, you know, that saying around. At the end of the day, God sees my heart. So whether I'm doing this or not, God sees my heart. Every time you say that, sis, every time you say that, bro, you're making yourself more accountable to the Lord for the things that you do wrong. Because if he sees your heart, he sees what's going on and why you should and shouldn't be doing the things you're doing. You get, you get my drift, you get my drift. Yeah, you get my drift. This one, yeah? Ah, oh. saying only God can judge me should cause there to be an actual shift in your life. Wow, wow. Wow. Saying only God can judge me should actually cause there to be a shift in your life because you now know that the judgment of God is greater. I hope we know that because sometimes I even get, like I look at people when they say only God can judge me. That should make you tremble. The Bible even says it, work out your salvation with fear and tremble. Tremble. Shouldn't that make you tremble more in the sense that you want to live a life that makes sense because you know that at the end of it is God that's going to judge you because man's judgment is nothing compared to God's judgment. You know that? So when you say things like only God can judge me, there needs to be a change in your life so that that rings true to what you believe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this one is a, it's a, it's a real like, you know, get, wake up. Because you serve God doesn't mean you deserve anything. Yeah, take a minute, take a minute. I think a lot of the times, I think some of us think, oh, because we're Christians, we deserve to have certain things. Obviously, the you know, God would have promised you certain things and whatever, but when you now say, I deserve, it's almost like you demand to have those things. And you know, sometimes we have to rewind and remember where we came from. 
yeah 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 thanks thanks thank you another one is um pastors are not god in the sense that they are human in the sense that they make mistakes in the sense that they are just like you and i you know just to remind us just in case any of forgotten that we can actually go to god ourselves we don't need man in the way of us going to god just saying um and um pastors are they also need support you know it's not every day go to pastor with your issues sometimes go and pray for pastor sometimes calling out a sin as it is is not judgmental let's talk about it if i call out a sin as it is so if one of my sisters or my brothers is lying and i tell them sis bro whatever you're lying that is not judgmental i am just saying what they are doing we need to stop saying everything is judgmental and stop saying oh my gosh look at your own life look at your own at the end of the day we're all on this journey we're all struggling we're all there's one sin or there's one issue that we're all facing one or another do you know what i mean but if i'm just telling you something simply if anything i'm showing you more love that's that my own issues and my own problem if i'm telling you bro sis this is what you are doing it's not really good and you're calling me judgmental i think you're amazing the point entirely obviously if i now start attacking the girl or the guy saying you're this and that if you do this you'll you'll be like this and you'll be one of those then we become judgmental but if i'm calling out a sin as it is that ain't judgment no but yeah i've actually got a headache now and this cold is really trying to come for my spirit soul and body but i really hope you enjoyed um my christian edition um let me know some more comment below some more if you can think of any more i have loads more but i just can't i think i've triggered enough souls and myself um to just be like you know let's let's do better um but yeah make sure you like you comment and you subscribe see you guys in my next video